Buying or investing in real property is an important decision that involves looking at many factors. And one of the factors is the brand you choose to buy a lot, a house, or condominium unit from. A reputable real estate developer is a safe bet if you are a first-time buyer because it has a history of experience and performance in terms of good construction quality, timely delivery of projects, ease of bank loan approval due to the name it has built, well-thought-out amenities, and are the possibility of getting a high return on investment. Because the cost of the properties in the Philippines is rising, choosing the right developer has become more important than ever. So in this video, I compiled the list of the top 10 real estate developers in the Philippines that will be useful for those who are based abroad. Hi, I'm Man Clementa and I made sure that this video will be informative so please give this video a like to support me. And before I share the list, I would just like to let you know that you can click CC on YouTube for the subtitle of this video. And also just because a real estate developer is not a part of this list doesn't mean that they are not good. There are times that less known real estate developers have better developments and or enable their investors to generate a higher return on investment. So don't be sad if you you are not able to buy real property from any of the real estate developers I will mention. I also would just like to let you know that I'm not paid to mention any of the real estate developers on this list. I'm also not employed by any of the developers because I'm an independent licensed real estate broker and a YouTuber. Additionally, some of the opinions and feedback I'll share here are based on my insight as well as the feedback of my clients and subscribers. Number one, Ayala Land Incorporated. Ayala Land Incorporated, Ali for short, was the real estate division of Ayala Corporation in the 1940s until it became a subsidiary company in 1988. So even though Ali is just 34 years old since its incorporation, it has more than 80 years of cumulative experience in master planning landscapes into centers of growth. So for the longest time, Ayala Land has been primarily known as a high-end property developer, but they have already diversified so they they currently have the distinct residential brands catering to different price points. The first is Ayala Land Premier, which is the luxury brand for clusters of mid-rise and high-rise condominiums located in sought-after addresses, as well as exclusive suburban villages and leisure communities with more than 50% open spaces and very low density. Second, there is Alveo, which is derived from the Latin word Salveo, which means to be well. It caters to the upscale market. While their properties are primarily located in Metro Manila, they also sell condominiums in Cebu and houses and lots in Laguna, Pampanga, and Cavite. The third is Avida, whereby Avida means to celebrate life for the rising middle class. The location of its condominium buildings and residential houses and lots are in vibrant and thriving communities. It has neighborhoods and estates as far as Parak, Pampanga in the north to Cagayan de Oro City in the south. Fourth, the the Amaya brand is for the broad C market or broad middle class and it has three product lines. Amaya escapes for houses and lots located in a provincial or suburban setting. Meanwhile, Amaya steps are for mid-rise condominiums located on the quieter side of the city. And there are the Amaya skies which is for high-rise condominiums that are close to the central business districts. Finally, Bella Vita is Ali's brand that offers socialized housing units. So minimum wage earners and members of the informal business sector will have an opportunity to own a house through affordable monthly amortizations of less than 3,000 pesos. In general, most of Ayala Land's developments are mostly located in Metro Manila and Central and Southern Luzon. Those three areas collectively account for two-thirds of the Philippines' GDP. These locations are supplemented by developments in highly urbanized and key cities in the Visayas and Mindanao. With the five residential brands I mentioned, you'll know that Ali offers diverse residential properties catering to different market segments located all over the Philippines. Ayala Land Incorporated is truly the number one property developer. They have a solid track record in delivering what they promise and they keep on striving to surpass their achievements. This is evidenced by the transformation of Makati City into a central business district and the transformation of Bonifacio Global City into a sprawling urban destination dubbed as a home of the passionate minds. Additionally, 
They have received recognition from international and local awards institutions. In fact, over the past year, Ali won a total of 37 accolades. With built communities anchored on key livable features, buyers get to enjoy high capital appreciation. For instance, during the pandemic, property owners in Ayala Alabang Village have become wealthier with the rapid appreciation of their properties. The 90,000 to 150,000 pesos price per square meter soared to 200,000 pesos per square meter. Meanwhile, their 12-hectare development called One Surrendra in Bonifacio Global City has more than doubled its value after its launch in 2008. Furthermore, Ali's properties are managed by Ayala Property Management Corporation. It is the biggest property management company in the Philippines and it has numerous international awards for safety and energy efficiency. This is also one of the reasons why they have built a loyal customer base who only buy properties solely developed by Ayala Land Incorporated. Ali, on the other hand, rewards their clients through Ayala Reward Circle. If you are buying a property as an investor, don't get easily seduced by projected returns because while Ali properties certainly appreciate, there will always be risks just like any other investment. So study which project or property suits your investment tolerance. Just to share with you, last year I encountered a lot of buyers who purchased condominium units in Arca South trying to sell their units because they weren't prepared for the delays in the infrastructures that would make Arca South a highly accessible and strategic location in Metro Manila. Number two, Cebu Land Masters Incorporated. Cebu Land Masters or CLI is the youngest among the top real estate developers on this list because the company is just 19 years old. However, it is led by Mr. Soberano III who has more than three decades of experience in the property industry including working for 23 years under the Ayala Group. Currently, CLI has almost 100 projects in different stages of development in 15 key cities across Visayas and Mindanao. With continued expansion through the acquisition of land for land banking, new ventures plus continuous recognition from prestigious award-giving bodies and organizations, CLI is the leading if not the best condominium and subdivision developer in Visayas and Mindanao. CLI has an impressive track record of fully selling out all its projects within one year of launch because the company is deeply familiar with what its market wants, which includes the price points and even features. Furthermore, the company is known for completing projects on time, which is a feat even for those who have been in the real estate industry for a long time. The locations of their projects are never more than two kilometers away from the main road because prime landowners in Visayas and Mindanao trust the company as a joint venture partner. CLI treats its customers like kin. In the homeowners associations of the CLI subdivisions, villages, and residential condominiums, the CEO and his family are board members so that they can be aware of the residents' concerns. Aside from that, CLI has an in-house property management team and a dedicated customer care team that responds within 24 hours during weekdays to keep customer satisfaction. Number three, Feel Invest Land Incorporated. Phil Invest Land Incorporated FLI, is the real estate arm of Phil Invest Development Corporation, which is also one of the oldest real estate developers. The brand had its humble beginnings from developing its first middle-income residential subdivision in Cebu until it developed its most well-known project, Phil Invest City in Alabang, which is the first central business district in the South. Phil Invest Land Inc. is currently one of the largest home providers as it developed over 2,500 hectares of land and they currently have over 250 ongoing projects located in over 50 key areas nationwide. And to be able to cater to a wide range of market segments, and to be able to cater to a wide range of market segments, they have four residential brands. First is Futura by Phil Invest, which are value for money mid rise condominiums and houses in residential subdivisions that were built with Futura's signature Bujos D by Quality Seal. Second is the Aspire by Phil Invest, which offers mid rise and high rise communities that enjoy proximity to central business districts, educational institutions, and leisure hubs, thereby making it suitable for urban professionals and upwardly mobile families. The third is the Prestige by Phil Invest, which are 
master plan communities with world-class facilities and luxurious amenities. Overall, Philin Westland boasts a strong presence in four key areas in North Luzon, which are Bulacan, Pampanga, Tarlac, and Pangasinan. Meanwhile, in Mindanao, they have properties ranging from mid-rise condo communities and subdivisions to exclusive island vacation homes in Butuan, Cagayan de Oro, Davao, Coronadal, and Zamboanga. The fourth is Filigree. It is a luxury real estate brand that personifies elegance, and much attention to details, quality materials, and craftsmanship like no other. Long before the pandemic happened, Philly Investland Inc. is advocating for smart and green development. The sustainable communities they've developed already have the essentials for the new normal, which are greenery and open spaces. So depending on the location of the project, many would have pocket parks with lush greenery, while other projects would have reserved forests and farms. Some projects have incorporated biophilic designs to mimic natural environments. Furthermore, 60% 70% of a community is usually allocated for open spaces, so there are tree-lined streets that are both pedestrian and bike-friendly. Meanwhile, its condominium developments comply with environmental codes and have solid waste disposal systems. Their contributions to development have been recognized by DOT Property Philippines Awards 2021 as they won the Best Developer Award for North Luzon and Mindanao categories. Therefore, PhilInvest is a good developer choice for people who are buying a property for end use or for settling down. With green space as a common feature of Philin Westland Inc.'s developments, the use of cast-in technology for Futura houses and their property developments near essential establishments and transport hubs, Philin Invest offers value for money, but it comes with the cost as they need to improve on the turnover of the certificate of titles of those who were able to pay in full. So if you don't want such kind of headaches, you may want to opt for resale Philin Invest properties whereby the transfer certificate of title is already available. Or you can patiently wait for the release if you are buying a residential lot and you are not going to develop it right away. One of the strategies of real estate investors is to wait for the development of the surrounding areas and the decrease of available lots for sale, which drives the prices of the lots up. Afterward, they would either sell their lots or build a house and then sell it. Number four, SMDC or SM Development Corporation. SMDC as a residential developer primarily focused on the middle market and only stuck with using the SMDC brand, even if they are introducing new formats like the Ice Tower, which is a residential office development, and the SMDC Joy Residences, which is a garden community with four-floor residential buildings. So the brand recall was easy for everyone, all the more that, to begin with, the SM brand is popular with 79 malls across the country. SMDC also took an aggressive approach to expand its condominium developments from strategic locations across Metro Manila, particularly near the country's lifestyle and business districts such as Quezon City, Makati, Manila, Pasay, Pasig, Taguig, and Paranaque to fast-rising growth centers in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Thus, they are currently the largest and fastest growing real estate developer. SMDC offers luxurious urban living and their condo developments are more often than not beautifully designed so they have racked up a lot of recognition for it. Buyers then get to enjoy generous amenities, hotel-like common areas, and professional management services. SMDC residents also get to live close to places that are relevant to their needs and requirements because the condominium developments are strategically located near key establishments, institutions, hospitals, and transport hubs. Plus, each condominium development also has a supermarket, a strip mall, or is located alongside their SM super malls. So residents then have easy access to food, banks, or ATMs, and other essentials, which many of the SMDC condo dwellers appreciated during the pandemic. Despite the high city lifestyle, it becomes attainable for middle-income Filipinos because SMDC offers very easy payment terms. It also helps that it is easier to get bank financing via BDO home loan, but of course, you have to keep in mind that it's not guaranteed that you will be approved for a home loan. Meanwhile, real estate investors who want to lease out the unit they purchase may avail the services of SMDC Prime Key Leasing, which is SMDC's professional property management and leasing arm. 
In the past, when the Philippine offshore gaming operators, the majority of which are Chinese, had a surge of demand for SMDC units to house their employees, it contributed to a fast appreciation of SMDC units. Many real estate investors were able to flip their units and they earned double or even more than double their initial investment. Such became enticing for other Filipinos who also would like to have high returns through condo flipping. And they purchased thinking that they would be able to sell it before the bank loan is due. However, since there are a lot of other investors with the same strategy, this resulted in a lot of condo pasalo for those who weren't financially prepared to purchase a unit. Aside from that, while the monthly payment is low because of easy payment terms, for an end user, price per square meter of SMDC is quite expensive. There has been a lot of feedback from my subscribers that they are unhappy with the size of their unit and they are not satisfied with the build quality. Nevertheless, Carefully study any project you might invest in and don't rely on what real estate agents are saying. Many of them will certainly tell you what you want to hear so they can just close the sale. Number five, DMCI Homes Incorporated. DMCI Homes Incorporated is a premier property developer that has been building resort style condo communities for the past 27 years. One of its most popular and well embraced projects is the Akasha Estates community in Taguig City, which houses mixed type developers developments including mid-rise and high-rise condominiums and townhouses. There are a lot of reasons why the developments of DMCI homes are sought after by home buyers, but I'll just mention the reasons that make them distinct from other real estate developers. The quality of DMCI homes, residential units, and communities is backed by its engineering and construction arm, DM Konsuhi Inc. or DMCI, which is one of the most trusted construction firms in the country. Moreover, DMCI has almost 60 years of experience in constructing office towers, hotels, resorts, etc. Their building expertise is further signified by being recognized as the country's first quadruple licensed real estate developer. So not only do buyers enjoy quality workmanship and a longer warranty for unit deliverables, but also the turnover of the units is on time. The MCI Homes even completes projects way ahead of schedule. Another reason is that they were able to strike the balance between affordability and livability. The cut of the units they offer is big. They offer generous amenities and facilities facilities that evoke a genuine resort feel. All their developments are gated and even have electric perimeter fences for increased safety. DMCI Homes also pioneered the single loaded corridor layout and LumiVent technology which allows more natural light and air to flow through the building thus reducing electricity usage in the common areas. It also helps residents lower their carbon emissions as fresh air can cool down their space. The location of their developments is typically at the fringes of known business districts. For example, the Pioneer Street area in Mandaluyong City or C5 Road and Barangay Ususan in Taguig City. This means that business districts and shopping malls where the action is aren't within walking distance. However, prices are lower so the capital appreciation potential is greater. Also, I think they carefully selected the locations to have fewer buildings blocking the breeze and residents will get to enjoy fresher air. Because the target market of DMCI is end users, which are usually families, a condominium building has a high density more so that Filipinos love to entertain guests. There will be long wait times in the elevator, and Airbnb is discouraged from a lot of its developments for security reasons. If ever you want to lease your unit, the shortest lease term usually allowed is six months. Additionally, depending on the management, guests may only use the amenities on weekdays because registered residents exclusively use them during weekends. Finally, just take note that because of the openings on the condominium building, the building is exposed to natural elements which makes it prone to physical deterioration. For example, the walls outside the unit will have dirt from polluted air. Such can be prevented with proper upkeep but this will be reflected in the increase in association dues. Number 6. Robinson's Land Corporation Robinson's Land Corporation is the real estate arm of JG Summit Holdings which is one of the largest conglomerates in the Philippines, with key subsidiaries that include Universal Ruby, 
Marina and Cebu Pacific Airlines. Currently, Robinson's Land Corporation continues to be one of the leading real estate and property developers in the Philippines with a proven track record of over 42 years in the industry. It has three brand segments of residential condominiums namely Robinson's Luxuria, Robinson's Residences, and Robinson's Communities. And they integrated those three brands under one new brand called RLC Residences with the tagline Race, Live, Connect. Meanwhile, Robinson's Homes is its trusted brand for master plan gated subdivisions. Its sub-brands Bloomfields, Brighton, and Springdale cater to every type of Filipino family. To date, they have more than 10,000 homes spread across 25 enclaves in 11 key cities in the Philippines. RLC is one of the most reliable condominium developers in the Philippines. Their condominium developments are marked with comfort and trustworthy service. And with the recent merge of their brands, it shows their commitment to what modern property seekers prioritize. So their upcoming residential condominium projects have smart home features, dedicated spaces for work from home nooks, allocated areas for daycare, and many more. And because each RLC project carries a reputation of having the highest standards of quality and service, other real estate developers agreed to go on joint ventures with them to create one-of-a-kind residential condominium projects which are Aurelia Residences, a JV with Chang Properties Incorporated, and the Velaris Residences, a JV with international property development leader Hong Kong Land. They also have garnered prestigious recognitions for their vertical and horizontal residential properties during the 9th Property Guru Asia Property Awards. It's Robinson's Homes, one best mid and housing development. RLC residences are a popular choice for young professionals renting condominium units and a lot of the millennials I've met have stayed in an RLC condominium. I think this can be attributed to RLC unit owners being able to rent it at budget-friendly prices because they were able to buy their unit at a generally affordable price and with very easy payment terms. Therefore, RLC residences can be a choice for you if you want to dabble in leasing. Number 7. Federal Land Federal Land is a a member of GT Capital Holdings and a proud partner of the Metro Bank Group. It began in Manila as Federal Homes Incorporated in 1972 but has since grown into Federal Land Incorporated, a prime real estate developer in the Philippines. The company is a key contributor to important Philippine skylines which include the 47-story GT Tower International in Makati and Marco Polo Residences in Cebu. Federal Land develops homes that raise the quality of living and the locations of their condominium developments are good, with most of them located in Taguig, Makati, Pasay, and Manila. The company launched several landmark projects by partnering with some of the biggest and most trusted names in the global arena. The outstanding projects are the following. The Estate Makati is designed by the world-renowned Foster and Partners. Grand Hyatt Manila Residences is the first Grand Hyatt branded residence in Southeast Asia. Asia and its partnership with Hyatt Hotels and the most recent project, the Seasons Residences, is a collaboration with Nomura Real Estate Development, one of the largest property developers in Japan and with the retailer Isetan Mitsukoshi Holdings. The price range of federal land is wide from low price to expensive. However, their notable residential projects tend to cater to affluent Filipinos and foreign investors. So some of its condominiums such as Grand Hyatt Residences and the Marco Polo Residences have amenities at par with hotel standard. Number 8. Mega World Mega World Corporation pioneered the live, work, play, shop concept that integrates residential, office, and commercial components within its township developments. Some some of its distinguished township projects include Eastwood City, Uptown Bonifacio, Forbes Town Center, Newport City, McKinley Hill, and Iloilo Business Park. As the country's largest developer of integrated urban townships and lifestyle communities, they have close to 30 townships, many of which are in Luzon, but also have in Visayas and Mindanao. 
Before a project is built, Mega World ensures that the location meets the requirements of the live work play lifestyle. This means that the workplace, entertainment facilities, and shopping malls are just within walking distance of a condominium building. It's a given that a condominium has amenities, but Mega World offers upscale living by including first class and innovative amenities like a sauna, Pilates Center, Zen Gardens, etc. Besides that, Mega World has different projects tailored to to different lifestyles. There is a certain prestige to owning a Mega World unit because the company is great at marketing and branding. But it comes at a cost since its property prices are high, which means you will have to wait for a longer period to recover your investment for rental earnings. Number nine, Rockwell Land Corporation. Rockwell Land developed Rockwell Center, which was a mini city on the site of a former power plant. The development quickly became popular among foreigners and Filipinos and propelled Rockwell Land to become known for luxury real estate. Some of its most notable projects are Aruga Apartments, 8 Benitez Suites, and Proscenium. Rockwell Land wanted to cater to middle income earners as well, so they established Rockwell Primaries Development corporation. The Rockwell Primaries brand offers an affordable premium experience with its developments, some of which are the Vantage at Capitolio in Pasig City and 53 Benitez in New Manila. While most of Rockwell's projects are in Metro Manila, it also has a presence in key cities outside Metro Manila, such as Laguna, Batangas, and Angeles, as well as in the Visayas region, Cebu, and Bacolod. The condominium developments that Rockwell developed are not only strategically located, but it has a spacious cut, luxurious design, premium finishes, and high ceilings. Besides that, they incorporated this distinct signature Rockwell lifestyle, which is having excellent and dedicated property management plus premium amenities. Rockwell has ventured into horizontal development, so you may opt to purchase a lot and wait for its value to appreciate as their master plan communities develop, particularly since there is a strong preference for peaceful developments. Number 10, Vistaland. Founded by Manny Villar, Vistaland has created uniquely strong property brands. The most recognized brands are the following. First is Camellia. As a brand, it may have evolved so much throughout its existence in the real estate industry, but it has a track record of building 500,000 homes within townships found in 47 provinces and 149 cities and municipalities all over the Philippines. Second, Brittany executes communities that are rich in character and sophisticated in their thematic appeal. So Crosswinds Tagaytay is Swiss chalet inspired with different kinds of residential properties. Brittany Santa Rosa offers an American lifestyle in luxurious dwellings amidst a nature reserve. Meanwhile, Vista that Labang offers an Italian-inspired luxury house and lot that exudes classic old-world charm. And Lake Fransukat offers luxury homes that are a fusion of Victorian opulence and modern-day sophistication. Third, Crown Asia builds premium houses and lots and condominiums which cater to upper-middle-income families and individuals. Fourth, Vista Residences develops condominiums located in the Philippines' premier universities and developed business districts. Although the company became popular for housing low and mid-market segments, Vistaland now has product offerings across all income segments and has the broadest geographic presence among all major housing developers. Vistaland developed an expertise in creating theme developments. As such, home buyers of its theme developments will have sanctuaries that extend beyond their home. And if they are not using it, they can also earn additional income by listing it on Airbnb or other vacation rental sites. Shang Properties Shang Properties is owned by the Kwok Group, the Singaporean real estate firm behind the Shangri-La Hotel chain. The company's portfolio of completed residential contracts Dominiums comprises Horizon Homes, One Shangri-La Place, Shang Central, Shang Salcedo Place, The Rice Makati, The Shang Grand Tower, and The St. Francis Shangri-La Place.
All of Shang Properties high-rise condominium projects are in prime locations that are surrounded by thriving lifestyles and dining choices. More importantly, homeowners get to enjoy the Shang lifestyle where by the moment they arrive, they feel important because of the well-crafted design of the interiors and world-class hospitality. Such exemplary service and exceptional amenities like a state-of-the-art fitness studio, 24-hour attended lobby, and more are managed by Shang Properties Management services incorporated. Shang properties are very strict with the rules and regulations which include implementing measures against COVID-19. So they prohibit charter leases and even restrict the use of the facilities and function rooms to registered owners only. However, that is of course all for the safety of the residents. And as a luxury residential condominium, most of its dwellers are expats and wealthy Filipinos. That's it for this video. If you stayed until the end of this video, I hope this has enlightened you about the widely known real estate developers feel free to share your experiences with the real estate developers i mentioned in the comment section and if you want more videos like this consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any videos again i'm Mayan clemente and thank you for watching own property ph